good afternoon students today we are going to study the part 2 of chapter 2 that is olympic value education in the first part we have studied about what is olympics then the types of olympics that is para olympics and special olympics and now we are going to study about olympic symbols ideals objectives and value of olympism and the second point we are going to study is international olympic committee whereas the last point that we are going to study is regarding india that is indian olympic association the first point we are going to study today is olympic symbols or emblem it comprises of five interlinked rings or circles to represent the sporting friendship of all people the ring also symbolizes the five continents that is africa america asia australia and europe each ring is of different color that is blue yellow black green and red the color of each ring was proposed by d kuberton himself however it is important to emphasize that perry kuberton never said or wrote that the color of the rings were linked with different continents so it is merely a misconception that says that each of the color relates to a certain continent the olympic motto is inscribed under the emblem which consists of three latin words cts lts and fortius cts means faster lts means higher and fortius means stronger the literal meaning of this words represent the athletic goals running faster jumping higher and throwing farther olympic ideals olympic games are remembered for the bishop famous sermon the important thing in olympic is not to win but to take part the important thing in life is not to trump but struggle the essential thing is not to have conquered but to have fought well these are the olympic ideals further we are going to study about the objectives of olympics according to kubertin the objectives were achieved through the olympic games such as to pay attention towards physical education and sports competitions in all the countries of the world the development personally character citizenship and health among the youth formation of good habits among the sports person so that they could lead a healthy and prosperous life the next uh, objective was to develop patriotism and fraternity among the sports person the fifth point was to develop international fraternity and peace sixth one was not to have any discrimination on the basis of caste race and religion that was the most important point in objectives of olympics development of value through olympism this is the next point if we glance at the various objectives of modern olympic games formulated by kubertin we immediately come to know that kubertin wanted to develop this values through olympism so he put his strenuous effort to start the olympic games in fact the following values were developed through olympism so the first most important value was friendship the olympism provides many opportunities to develop friendship not only among the participants but among the nations also when olympic games are held the participants get close to each other they become friends the nation that have tense relation also come closer china is one of the examples due to the ping pong diplomacy it started to participate in olympic games after a long gap so olympism provides ample opportunities to develop friendship so now the next value is solidarity olympism also provides ample opportunities to enhance solidarity it also gives feelings of brotherhood and unity among various nations it creates cohesion among the participants as nations the next value is fair play up to some extent it can be said that olympic games enhance the chances of fair play 
fair play is based on justice there should be justice for each players as well as the team there should not be any favor or inclination towards the team rules and regulations must be applied fairly to each team but in fact there is a big gap between words and actions of the officials nowadays every team wants to win by hook or by crook the slogan like stay out for sports and stay out of the court and live by code or get out have you become useless as this are not followed in practice therefore it can be said that olympism in this respect is not as successful as it should have been so the next value we are going to study is free from discrimination this is the last point and the last objective of modern olympic games it is said that there will be no discrimination on the basis of caste race and religion so the olympism lays down enough stress on the aspects that is why up to the up to some extent olympic games are free from discrimination at such an event there is no meaning of caste race religion or community through exceptions are always there it happened during 1972 munich olympic games when 11 players of israel were murdered ruthlessly racial difference was seen during 1936 berlin olympics when adolf hitler used the honor jess owens the african african american athlete who got four gold medals in olympic games about the value such as friendship solidarity fair play and free from discrimination it can be said that olympism plays a significant role in development of this values but there is also a negative aspect of olympic games which is also rampant it seems that dream of cubertin are not going to be fulfilled countries have their own interest some of the countries take part in the olympic games just to prove that they are on the top and far better than the other countries this value suffered a setback when some of the countries of the world boycotted 1980 moscow olympics and 1984 los angeles olympics perhaps cubertin never imagined such shocking events but it does not mean that the olympism has failed in developing the above mentioned values we must have a positive attitude towards olympism nations must lay stress and objectives of modern olympic games so that this values could be developed through olympism the next point is international olympic committee the international olympic committee is the governing body of the modern olympic games it is committed to support and promote participation in sports throughout the world the international olympic committee has its headquarter in switzerland It was created by Baron Cubertin on 23 June. Rick Bikelas was its first president. Its membership consists of 105 active members and 32 honorary members. The IOC organizes the modern Olympic Games held in summer and winter every 4 years. The first summer Olympic Games by the International Committee were held in Athens, Greece in 1896. whereas the first winter olympic games were held in france in 1924 until 1922 both summer and winter olympic games were held in the same year after that the ioc changed the winter olympic games through the every 2 years apart from the other since 2010 the ioc has started to organize the summer and winter youth olympics The first summer youth olympics were held in Singapore in ni- in 2010 whereas the first winter youth olympics were held in Innsbruck in 2012 The next is members of the committee the IOC consists of the members from various countries which constitutes president vice president executive board and secretary general The descriptions of this members are The first one is the most important president the president of IOC that is International Olympic Committee is elected by its members the president is elected for a term of 8 years after the expiry of his term he or she can be reelected 
The current International Olympic Committee President is Thomas Patch. Vice President In International Olympic Committee, four Vice Presidents are elected. These officials are also elected by the members of the committee. They are elected for a term of four years. They can be reappointed if members of the committee desire so. And the last one is Executive Board. The IOC Executive Board consists of the President, four Vice Presidents and ten other members. All the members of International Olympic Committee Executive Board are elected by the IOC session. All the members of IOC from various countries. In a secret ballot by a majority of vote cast. The International Olympic Committee Executive Board assumes the general overall responsibilities for the administration of the IOC and the management of its affairs. The main functions of International Olympic Committee The International Olympic Committee performs a number of functions which are the first one is the place where the Olympics will be organized is decided by the committee. The right to decide the days on which the games will be held also resets with the committee. For conducting the competition and general programs for the the Olympics. Fundamental rules and regulations are set up by the committee. The committee also encourages and supports the promotions of ethics in sports as well as education of youth through sports. It also ensures the regular conduct of Olympic Games. It also takes action in order to strengthen the unity and to protect the independence of the Olympic movement. It also acts against any form of discrimination affecting the Olympic movement. The committee also encourages and supports the promotion of women in sports at all levels. The committee leads the fight against doping in sports. This is the most important point related to the athletes. The committee also encourages the development of sports for all. And the last one is to oppose any political or commercial abuse of sports and athletes. The next is Indian Olympic Association. Indian Olympic Association is also called as IOA. It was established in 1927. Sir Dorabji Jamshedji Tata and Dr. Noren became the Founder President and Secretary General respectively of Indian Olympic Association. Indian Olympic Association is affiliated to International Olympic Committee. Sir Dorabji Tata was also elected the first IOC member in India. In 1928, Sir Dorabji Jamshedji Tata resigned from the post of the president of IOA. After that, Maharaja Bhupender Singh became the president of IOA. In the Olympic Games of 1928, which was held in Amsterdam, the Indian hockey team was sent to Olympics. The Indian hockey team, which participated first time in Olympic Games, won a gold medal. The election of the office bearers of IOA is held after every four years. The council consists of various members like President, nine vice president, six joint secretaries, one secretary general, one honorary treasurer, seven representatives of the state Olympic Association and 12 representatives of the Nation Sports Federation of Association. So, Objectives of Indian Olympic Association The objectives of Indian Olympic Association The development and promotion of Olympic Games movement Enforcement of all rules and regulations of IOC and IOA Enforcement of all rules and regulations of the IOC and IOA the third point is to be the official organization in complete from the responsible for all the matters related to the Olympic events. Fourth one is promotion and encouragement of physical, moral, cultural, education and the young people of the nation so that their characters can be developed. Fifth one is admitting the membership of the State Olympic Association and National Sports Federation for which submission of their annual reports and audit statements of account is necessary. This document should be deposited to IOA for information. The sixth objective is to undertake 
with assistance of national sports federation the financial management transportation maintenance and welfare of the team from india taking part in the olympic games and other games which are organized under the patronage of ioc the next objective is to take disciplinary action against any federation for misbehavior or any other undesirable activities bringing discredit to the country eighth objective is to cooperation with the national sports federation organize and control selection training coaching of the team that will represent india and the last objective is to enforce and defend the exclusive right of the association to use the olympic flag and olympic insignia this is all about the second chapter olympic value education so we'll revise what what points we have studied the first point we have studied is olympic paralympics and special olympics second one we studied olympic symbols ideals objectives and value of olympism third we studied international olympic committee and finally we studied about our indian olympic association so i hope you all have understood this chapter till then take care thank you